shock horror the Dutch have lost to Denmark. Denmark, really? The Germans earn a narrow victory over Portugal. Maradona's been at it again, on the wind-up, that is. And there's a bomb in Lviv. But don't panic. And more from our finger-licking results predictor, Kevin the Chicken. I'm Layla, and you're watching The Goal Line. Last night saw Group B play their opening fixtures. Denmark provided the shock of the tournament so far, beating World Cup finalist the Netherlands 1-0, courtesy of a Crone Deli strike. Portugal weren't so lucky. Gomez put the Germans into the lead after 74 minutes, with a well-directed header, meaning Kev the Chicken got one right. Nine goals, two send-offs, already one big upset. And it's only day three. To see where the next twists and turns lie ahead, we catch up with our man in the know, it's Ash Sharma. And this is where it all starts for the Spanish against the Italians. This is the spanking new Amber Stadium here in Gdańsk. Well, the Spanish are without two of the most influential players. There's no Carlos Puyol and there's no David Villa. But will that really be a problem? I mean, they still have Iniesta, Xabi, Alonso, oof, the list carries on. As for the Italians, watch out for a more attack-minded team, which is the philosophy of coach Cesar Prandelli. And with Cassano and Balatelli up front, we could literally get fireworks. But the cloud of football corruption hangs over them. Will it affect them? They had a similar scenario in 2006, and we all know what happened there. Good work, Ash, but you're not done yet. Where is he now? Oh. Oof. Morning already. What a night out with the Irish boys that was. Well, Ireland will have to make sure that they do get some points on the board against Croatia, especially with the likes of Spain and Italy to follow. And they will fancy their chances. Let's not forget they have the versatility of Robbie Keane, the talents of Long and Cox, and in defence, the experience of John O'Shea and Shea Given. It's the first time in over a decade that the Irish are in a major tournament and their fans will be singing them loud and proud. Come on, Ireland! While the Irish may be loud and robust, the Croatians, far more cultured, elegant, refined, like a nice wine. And let's not forget, they do have a very good team, maturing nicely, especially in attack, with the likes of Jelovic, Luka Modric, Ivan Rakitic. They could give departing coach Slavan Bilic the perfect leaving present. Wine, anyone? Ooh. Oh, stop your whining. There'll be more from the charmer tomorrow. Yes, he's back and Diego Maradona is talking football again. He's come out saying that Portugal are one of the weakest sides in the tournament, despite having the best player on the planet in Cristiano Ronaldo, and that the Portuguese will have to carry his teammates if they have any chance of progressing. Anyway, if anyone knows what it's like for a player to carry a team in a major championship, Diego should. Anyone remember Mexico 86? Now for my favourite part of the show, it's Kev the Chicken. Okay, let's face the facts. He's got a couple wrong, but he's also had two out of four right, and when there's a 50-50 chance, I think that makes him a chicken genius. Kev the psychic chicken from Kiev now turns his attentions to Group C's opening games and the holders Spain are going to see off Italy in one of the most appetising matches in the opening round of games. Holders get off to a good start. Well, Ireland, one of the less fancied sides, but into the lead, but an equaliser for Croatia. It's going to end all square in the eyes of Kev and I think that both nations will probably be happy enough with that. So a win for the holders and a draw between Ireland and Croatia are the predictions. Although he's not covering himself in glory, he'll be covered in gravy soon. Kev seems to think that it should be comfortable win for Spain on Sunday. Xavi Onzo, however, thinks the Italians might be a tad tougher than his feathered friend is letting on. We are expecting a very tough and very difficult game because we know the, the competitive uh, uh, Gen of that uh, the, the Italian players have, even uh, having problems surrounding the squad around the, the gambling team. That means that maybe they are because of that more dangerous because whenever they have points, they, they get stronger. We, we saw that in the World Cup in 2006. Along the years, it has happened the same. So that's that's not a, a relief for us. That's more uh, more than uh, to be try to be more more ready. 
Just hours before the Germany-Portugal match kicked off on Saturday night, a construction worker discovered a World War II bomb outside the Lviv Stadium in Ukraine. The 70-year-old undetonated device has since been defused, meaning the match between Germany and Portugal kicked off as scheduled. Phew. Right, thanks for that. Now it's time for our poll of the day. Hi, I'm Claudia from Warsaw, and this is the poll of the day. For today's poll, we asked our readers which midfield combination will come out on top in Group C at Euro 2012. And it's hardly surprising that reigning world and European champions Spain have provided the winning pairing. The Italian combination are a long way behind in second place despite having three players in their midfield. Looks like we'll be in for a good game tonight. And there you have it. That's it for another day. Sean will be back same time, same place tomorrow. Ciao.